every one of you watching this show, I want you, when you get into bed tonight, just try it tonight. Instead of using these five minutes to review what you don't want, review everything that you've placed into your imagination. In the uh, book of Job, there is a very important uh, statement. The statement says, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men while slumbering in their beds, then he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction. Your subconscious mind is most comfortable when you are unconscious. You are unconscious when you are in your sleep state. And in your sleep state, your subconscious mind is busy at work. And it's so important, these, I call it the last five minutes of your day. So you get into bed, every day you get into bed, it's, uh, you get ready to go to sleep. And you are now about to, you're in that state between being awake and being asleep where you're getting drowsy and, um, and you are going to marinate for the next eight hours in your unconscious, subconscious mind. You're preparing your marinade. And the question is, how do you want to prepare yourself for having your instructions sealed? Your ears are opened and your instructions are sealed. So most people use the last five minutes of their day <clears throat> as they're about to enter into sleep to review all of the things that they don't like and all of the things that didn't work and all of the people that hurt their feelings and all of the stuff that is going on in their life that they wish weren't happening. This is their worry time. This is the time when you fill your mind with all of this stuff and then you go off into sleep and he opens your ears and seals your instructions while you are slumbering. That's right out of the book of Job. So what you want to do is reverse this practice because your subconscious mind is listening to how you are asking the universe to provide for you what it is that you would like to attract or manifest into your life. And if you fill your subconscious mind with all of the things that you don't want, that you don't like, that make you unhappy, that make you depressed, that make you worry, then your subconscious mind, which is impersonal, and remember, it can't make a distinction between what it is that you are feeling as a result of what you place into your mind or what is actually happening in your life. It doesn't distinguish one from the other. It's totally impersonal. It's just open to suggestion. And here you are suggesting to your subconscious mind, which will, when you awaken, you will align with the universal subconscious mind, the one mind. You know, there's millions of people out there in the world. There's millions of you watching this program. And you can see the difference between each and every one of you on the basis of your appearances. But there's only one mind. That's what the great spiritual texts all teach us. So now, if you, if you program your subconscious mind to tell yourself, to go over all the things you don't want, all the things you don't like, all the things that shouldn't have happened, all the ways that you were mistreated, all about how terrible the economy is, and you know, we, we live in a fear-based world. You want to shift away from that kind of consciousness and use the last five minutes of your, of your day to program your subconscious mind with what you have placed into your imagination with your I am's. I am well. I say it to myself every night, especially when I get into that, that state, you know, that weird state where you're sort of half awake and you're half asleep and you know you're heading towards that sort of that sub subconscious place. And I just remember what it says in the book of Job. I don't want my instructions sealed 
by going over, I am sick, I am poor, I am unhappy. I just say, I am content, I am lucky. When I wake up in the morning, I don't say, oh, good God, morning. It's the reverse, I say, good morning, God. You know, it's like being grateful rather than being in that place where the things that you don't want are what you have programmed your life to be. I always think of this as, um, you know, like you have a currency. And, and if, if I were to give you currency to go out and purchase what you, what you want, and every place you went, you took this currency that you have to purchase what you want, and you purchase what you don't want, and then when you get home and you wonder why your house and your life is filled with everything that you don't want, it's because you're insane. <laughs> That's just insanity. It is. I mean, why would you take the currency that you have to buy what you do, that's there for what you do want, and spend it on what you don't want? Well, the currency that you have for attracting into your life what you would like to have are your thoughts and your imagination your, and your I am's, your God consciousness. Why would you use it to say, I am unable, I am unlucky, I cannot, I will not. You're throttling, that's what it says in the I am discourses, you're throttling that great I am presence that is located within you. And so the last five minutes of your day as you're about to marinate for eight hours in your subconscious mind with your unconscious state, you want to go into that state. Even if you just, even if your senses tell you, oh, this is where you're just fooling yourself and so on. You don't want to use your senses and the internet and other people's opinions, what you see, what you hear. You want to let go of all of that and recognize that anything that you want to attract or create for yourself in your life begins with what you have placed in your imagination and have assumed the feeling of that wish fulfilled and now you're going to practice it because you want I've been trying to get I mean getting stuff out of your subconscious mind is a big job it really is people most people are just not willing to do what it takes I still can't get the Morse code out of my subconscious mind I need to have a major deprogramming thing. There's that exit sign. Did da 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 did it da. It's always there. Uh, but that's just harmless. What isn't harmless is, you know, placing into your subconscious mind all the things that you're reviewing about what you don't like, about what didn't happen, about who mistreated you, about how sad you are, about how this can't happen. You are a creator. Neville put it this way. He said, the feeling which comes in response to the question, how would I feel were my wish realized, is the feeling which should monopolize and mobilize your attention as you relax into sleep. How would I feel were what it is that I would like to attract and create, and I don't care what it is, whether it's about the, the condition of your body, the disease state that you're in, the fact that you've been overweight for, uh, for, for uh, three centuries or three decades or whatever it is, the fact that you've been addicted, you, you ignore it. Even if you're drinking the coffee and doing the drugs and, and, and drinking alcohol or eating the sugar and so on, ignore what your senses tell you. Ignore what, uh, what you see on the scale. Ignore all of that and say I am sober I am healthy I am well-being I am content I am happy I am perfect health because ultimately that's how you will attract it you have to be able to see the wish fulfilled already in advance and call those things which do not yet exist as though they do